This is BBC News with the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. I'm Samantha. Hello and welcome. Now, the newly appointed head of the World Trade Organization has told the BBC that when it comes to vaccine protectionism, but protectionism rather is not the answer to ending the coronavirus pandemic. Speaking to the BBC in one of her first interviews since getting one of the top jobs in global trade, Nigeria's Dr Ngozi Okonjo Iwela told our correspondent Nancy Kusangira that her organisation could help accelerate the rollout of vaccines. The new head of the WTO there. Now, Jaguar Land Rover has announced that its Jaguar car brand will be entirely electric by 2025 and it will launch e-models of the entire JLR range by 2030. It's just the latest car company to join the race to develop a zero emission vehicles. It's also investing in hydrogen fuel cells and will have prototypes that use hydrogen fuel cells on Britain's roads within the next year, it said. So is the future electric or hydrogen powered? Joining me now is Amanda Str and sustainable transport expert. Amanda, welcome to you. Great to have you on the programme. Let's first of all talk about this aim of having Jaguar uh, all electric vehicles by 2025. Is this a real stretch or realistic? Now let's bring you some of the day's other news. The private... Now, mining giant BHP Group has reported its best first-half profit in seven years and declared a record interim payout to shareholders. It comes on strong demand for iron ore from the world's biggest consumer of metals, China. Joining me now is Yael Self and Chief Economist KPMG. Yael, welcome to you. Great to have you on the programme. And so it's all down to China. Now to a story we touched on gently yesterday, the ongoing scandal surrounding Crown Resort and their casinos in Australia. Let's go to Sharonjit Lael in our Asia Business Hub. Uh, Sharonjit, welcome to you. What's the latest on this? Do stay with us here on BBC News still to come. This is BBC World News, the latest headlines. Now, when it comes to recruitment, companies don't want to end up with the wrong person and football clubs are no different. Premier League football clubs have massive global scouting operations looking for the next big talent. One Premier League club, Burnley FC, are asking youngsters from around the world to trial for the club's academy via a mobile phone app, which uses artificial intelligence technology to analyse, rate and compare players. So could AI replace scouts and just how reliable is this method? Let's talk to one of the people behind the app. Joining me now is Richard Felton Thomas, Director of Sports Science at AI Scout. Welcome to you. Good to have you on the programme. So, so how does this technology work? Just how accurate could it be? Now, we've seen how quickly the pandemic affected travel as well as the food and beverage industries, which left millions around the world suddenly jobless. That's led to questions on how to build up skills and experience that would be somewhat crisis proof. We turned to a career coach for some answers and also caught up with a recent graduate who had to adjust his job expectations. Now, UK MPs will on Tuesday hear from representatives of the UK's creative industries about the impact the end of visa-free travel to the EU is having post-Brexit. The issue concerns not just UK performers touring within the EU, but also the transport of all of their equipment. British-based haulage firms that specialise in moving bands around Europe say they're struggling to operate under the new rules. Well, joining me now is Richard Brown, transport manager at Fly By, now, Fly By Night, which is a touring haulage company that has supported tours by stars, including Lady Gaga and Queen. Welcome to you. Great to have you on the programme. Well, I guess no touring is actually happening at the moment, but you're preparing for the day when hopefully in the not-too-distant future it will. Just tell us how common it is for British-based haulage firms to be involved with a European music tour. Again, let's hope it really is very soon. Richard Brown, great to have you on the programme. That's it from me. You can reach me on Twitter. I'm at Samantha TV News. Thanks very much for watching.